episode five. Now, I've loved every episode so far, but here we are at episode five. Uh, I'm going to self-title it. I know his name now. Sir Kristen, in fact. Kind of like the Cleveland Browns today. The whole recap is just going to go sort of out the window. Not that it was much of a recap anyhow, but they, uh, yikes. We kind of now, I'm, I'm like left with questions. This is the first episode where I was really like, whoa, I like immediately need more right now. Like... And, you know, and it started with the queen, um, you know, maybe she was finally on board. She talked with her father as he is, you know, the former king's leaving town. She, he, she's, uh, he just tells her like, look, you gotta, you gotta choose, you know, either you're going to bend the knee to your old uh, princess over there, your friend, or you're going to have to, your son's going to have to rule. And it looks like she goes with, all right, my son's going to have to rule. Immediately getting some attitude with the king. You know, the princess is still, uh, her and the, you know, the arranged marriage does take place. Everything seems good to go. He's got a boyfriend. She's got a boyfriend. Seems all good, right? Well, you know, Sir Kristen, the guy who a few episodes ago, I was like, I don't really know his name. You know, if he becomes important or does some cool shit, I'll know his name. Well, I know his name now. That's for sure. Technically, I believe I may have known it last week, but yikes things don't go well at the royal wedding announcement i believe you know we we ta we actually got a royal wedding at the end i don't know if we were supposed to or not i think they're my like look we better get this over shit started to hit the fan the king collapses at the end like is that it for him it seems like it's quickly going downhill with him it seemed like in the middle of the episode i thought he died but no they just gave him some morphine or something and he goes down and then for the night and uh yeah i don't know all the Damon, Damon Re oh, well, that's right. It starts with Damon kills his wife. Jeez, this guy, he just gets more and more despicable, right? Right when you think maybe, oh, maybe Damon's not that bad. All right, you know? No, he goes and does something like that. He called her, uh, she's not ugly. You know, I think he had described, or maybe uh, someone else had described for him as his ugly wife from the veil or something like that. No, she wasn't ugly at all. You know, what's up with Damon? It's a weirdo. So, now we're on to episode six. The season is really starting to cook, and uh, no dragons really involved this week. <clears throat> Woo! Sir Kristen does survive all the madness, though. Spoiler alert, Jimmy Fallon's boyfriend does not. All right. Did the king die at the end? What's up with the queen? They made that comment about like, oh shit, look, she's wearing that green dress. Uh-oh. I love that kind of stuff. Seems like there's, you know, I haven't we haven't really figured out who's who, but there's some like Varys type. Oh, that new hand of the king. I wouldn't trust that guy as far as I could bowl him. You know what I'm saying? That fucking hand of the king. We haven't had a good one since Ned Stark, man. Little finger Varys. Where are these? We got those type of characters mixing in there, you know? Tyrion. We don't have really a Tyrion yet, do we? Eh, we'll see. Time will tell. We're quickly rolling along. Season two. When is it? All right, guys. Boom. Thanks for watching if you've been watching. And, uh, yep, things are heating up. Whew. Dragon fire. I don't want to leave, man. I'm still just like, tell me something. All right, boom. We're out of here.